Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Drudic. We're doing PvP. Today I am on Crash Up Ball and I am doing my bestest not to lose this game, but alas, many people on my team and on the enemy team are working against that. So me seeing me just rolling down there and still taking absurd amounts of damage because I don't know, maybe missiles can travel around the corner. I don't know about this game anymore. Uh, I also have a very sad announcement to make uh, uh, concerning my sniper. In 3.0 I will change my main class. I mean I will maybe continue playing the sniper in some sort but uh, in my honest opinion they absolutely destroyed the sniper in 3.0 and I'm not going to play him consequently. So you can see a nice uh, 2 on 1 which I am of course not going to win because Assassins are bullshit, and they are going to continue to be bullshit in 3.0, so, you know, um, not the general hype kind of guy, um, oh god, this is so bad, you see me there right now, now I'm trying to kick him away, and I realize, no, no cooldown to be had, and gone, because it's a 30 second cooldown, and I still had 3 seconds left, so entirely my fault on that, uh, and that that play right there, and it just kind of sees the general theme of the game. Yeah, what I was saying, what I was saying about snipers and about the bullshit classes in 3.0. Now I know that some things are going to be tweaked, and some things are subject to change, like you know certain things of the utilities and stuff like that. But um, to be quite frankly, like the patch is coming in in two and a half weeks, and not much is going to change. So. Basically, what you're having on PTR right now is most likely going to be the one of the end renditions of what's going to go to live. And although I I do think I'm still kind of like NDA'd on that, and I'm not going to talk about this specifically. Uh, all I can say about is that they absolutely demolished Sniper, and I, I even I even see the way where they were trying to go with it. You know, they 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 kind of gated away many of the abilities into the trees. Like, 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 like certain abilities that were previously available for all snipers are now gated to ver a very su certain and specific uh, um, spec. And this is something which is just absolutely terrible. And the changes to engineer are also, they are, they are just insanely bad. They are so bad. Like, y you can't even stun someone for two seconds on, on range anymore. It's, it's utterly made impossible. Like, you still have the two second stun, but you can never get it off against decent players. That's 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 how bad it is. So, um as I said, long story short, um not gonna play it. I'm going to reroll to mercenary. Mercenary has, looks quite good. And I am going to go into further detail on what I specifically think is bad about the sniper once they um release the uh, sniper in the developer blog. So you know, just uh, just general rambling about that. Um the other thing is uh, assassins are quite strong, you know, who who knew? Who knew? Who knew? And um, yeah, funny joke for that one. Um, assassin walks into a bar. There is no counter. Oh, funny, funny, funny. Well, that's just a thing. That's just a thing. It is really like I have not. I have yet to see the class that beats uh, an assassin in the one-on-one. -on -one, um, as of 3.0, like um, operative comes comes near. Like a like, consummate operative comes near it, but. Uh, Cannot consistently uh, like win a one-on-one -on -one against a very skilled assassin. So you know, got that going, which is which is bad. Quite honestly, it's very bad. But uh, yeah, that's just the way it is. Uh, again, now concerning this game, uh, nice engine bug right there with the kick uh, going on. Now I can, I'm getting kicked down as well. Like I'm I'm down one there with the guardian and the healer just heals him completely up. Again. You know, just doing his things. Also, very, very, um, very bad if you have a full tank in hotball. You always know if you've got full tank on the enemy team that you're going to have quite a hard time to do anything. And this is where I just switched to the sage, you know, just giving him a good old big heap of love right there. Uh, one, the sentinel just thinks it's the best idea to just kill me. And yeah, you know, just uh, rolling over to that guy. Uh, he comes out of stealth again, but you know, just immediately kick him away because I do not want anything to do with these sentinels. Again, I do f I do also believe that in 3.0 uh, sentinels are the big losers as well of the patch. So again, not too not too looking forward to to Marauders there. Uh, 
Like they generally buffed all melees, but uh, they kind of again forgot to buff the sentinel in terms of availability and stuff. But you know, I think that's just a lot that they get all the time. They are the prototype of a glass cannon. Like this is that's just what sentinels get all the time. Well, nonetheless, well, actually, it's like one to two. It's not looking too bad in this whole game. We actually got the ball, but he's not playing it anywhere. I actually am geared now on this sniper on this tune. So I am willing to take the ball and like, maybe bring it somewhere, but you know, that guy is having none of it. He even goes in this, so the ball resets immediately. Very nicely played there of you, sir. And he gets killed from above because snipers are OP. So, regarding that snipers are OP right now, I am... Um, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still kind of bummed about that, you know, because snipers are not going to be OP anymore. Very sad. Uh, just go up there and like, execute him. Uh, some yeah, that, that's the tank again. Tank bringing himself into position, uh, but you know, just stunning him down there and killing him because I do not want him to be up there. And um, what is that? That is a gunslinger, just cheekily and sneakily uh, being up there. Did not roll to mitigate the damage, and he should die shortly after because of its nice ambush coming in and the execute and he's immediately down to 13 HP but again the guardian he managed to, to go there anyway so you know bad game bad life that's just how it is some days and he uses his reflection cooldown kicks me down because he can because I'm apparently I'm the only guy oh my god and <laughs> like some, some guy just got jumped to right there it's getting worse and worse as if it could not have gotten any worse, and this is where the third point for the enemies gets in there. So, always a very bad idea, if you are not in cover, to stand up there, because you can get jumped too. So that was kind of like the double jump. First he jumped to a teammate, then he jumped to an enemy. A very badly done from like our team, not denying that. And uh, yeah, again, some people trying to get up here. Uh, just killing them again, and this is a very fun part of the gunslinger right now. See, I'm dotting him right now, but I'm not stunning him as of yet, you know, see him? Now, as he wants to move over to the health relic, he gets stunned down, and he dies. So, that was very nice to play. He had entrenched active, but as soon as he would have stood up, he would have been stunned. So, all, so very nicely done right there by me, like, just to um, kind of switch up the tactics if you can anticipate the enemy movement, because he had the health relic next to him, so, you know, just kind of denied him getting that. But, you know, all the tricks in the book are not good enough if you have this kind of enemy team right here, just immediately going onto me and bursting me, kicking this, the assassin right there away because I saw him not having it, and the gunslinger right there should die, nice row comes in. And he tries to one-on-one -on -one me, but he is not interested whatsoever. So I kind of wasted that roll right there. Again, just trying to stun him. I'm not trying to stun him. No, I just tried to damage him right there. I should have stunned him with my plasma probe. Did not do that. And you know why not? You know just just attack the full tank down there, and uh, he should jump up shortly to a teammate or maybe an enemy. Because, you know, fuck this game. I'm just killing people up here because, you know, I have lost the will. Lost the will to play this game correctly. Alright, here. I sling on 29% HP. Execute should fly in and kill him. Does it kill him? Yep, yeah, nice nade, nice jump nade. Getting the kill right there. It's 1 to 4. Mm, this game is sad, as my mood is. I do believe this will be like the first. Lost I'm actually uploading, but you know it's it's a decent gameplay and uh it's the first game I got today and I just kind of wanted to talk about these these uh these things, these changes and stuff, you know. Because I have been a lot on PTR and I've seen a lot of classes, I've seen a lot of bullshit. Not happy with your bioware, but then again you can't make everyone happy, can you? For PvE, it's quite nice. So, you know, whatever. Just very bad. PvE, my speaking. Oh, we interrupt that thing. No, you're not gonna force lift me. And that's where the entrench comes in. Did not force lift me. Are you going to die? I think you are. Nice execute. Should fly in yet. 3.6k execute. Should kill him. Not me alone. The other guy was bursting him too. Uh, very nicely done in that regard. Three minutes to go in this in this game. This game is so long. Oh, it is painful. As painful as as Star Wars is right now. 
Uh, I should I should complain less about actually I should complain less about the whole uh, regarding the whole thing. You know, just jumping around here, just killing people, doing my usual stuff. Suddenly it seems a lot less fun, you know, once you know that you're not going to play this class any longer after 3.0. Sad, isn't it? Well, I think, um, uh, yeah, um, um, the mercenary was released, so um, I can talk about a, a bit about that one. Um, like in speaking of uh, in PVE, that is going to be quite nice. Uh, not in PVE, uh, in PVP, it's going to be quite nice because he gains uh, copious amounts of survivability, and I'm going to actually play innovative ordnance, even though uh, kind of arsenal or gunnery would be the first choice, like for PVP, and it has always been. Um, it, uh, it is also easier to play, and it has a better one-on-one -on -one potential. But and now hear me out. Innovative Ordnance has a dot spread of two dots and um, also has a third AOE dot. So you have three dots which you can place on eight people. So you've got that going for you which is very, very nice and is going to be strong in Arena. Which is actually the reasoning behind me rerolling to an Arsenal. Like usually I've played like... Uh, I played uh, Sniper in Arena. Now I'm going to play an Arsenal in Arena. Uh, not nice I'm going to play a, a, a mercenary in the room. And um, it's looking quite nice because, you know, dots are non-cleansable. I've got three dots on, on the enemies and the burst potential is actually quite nice. It is a bit like the um, the uh, pre-3.0 power tech, you know, you've got the uh, uh, the thermal detonator and the um, and the uh, explosive, uh, what's it, is it called the explosive dart? Uh, I believe it is called the explosive dart. So yeah, I've got like, the explosive dart and the um, and the thermal detonator, and they like explode while you can burst, and it's, it's quite the insane amount of burst while you still do decent amount of uh, split pressure with the uh, with the with the dots. So for for battlegrounds, it's also quite awesome because you. Um, you can actually dot the whole enemy group. It's, it's like it's kind of a bit like lethality right now. Uh, is for the sniper, which is actually also being being uh, being changed. So, you know, fuck that again, fuck by the way. Um, <coughs> so again, speaking of which, uh, this is going to be quite quite fun. It is a very difficult class to play, very difficult spec to play, but I think I will manage. And uh, yeah. So more mercenary videos are going to come up in 3.0 immediately, like after I reach 60 and like get my PvP gear. I'm just going to, uh, yeah, just going to have have more of that going. Not going to completely abandon the sniper. Going to play him, but I, I think I think like more rage videos are going to come of the sniper than of any other class because it, it's just so bad, really. So again, it's one to five. Very sad game, actually. You know, just kind of one on one the people who did actually one on one quite decently, and um, yeah, gameplay ends here. So, my name is Drulik. You have been um, listening to a ramble of Drulik PvP, and have a good one.